Sick. So, this is actually a really fast Torkoal. I'm not gonna say what nature it is, but it rhymes with Schmimid. It rhymes with Schmimid nature. I have bad news. We're doing this again. So, uh, the Global Challenge 3 has begun. And so far in both Global Challenges, uh, well, the first one I, I did awful, right? Second one, I did just fine. Um, this is the last one. I actually kind of want to get points in this one because, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to Portland, and even though I've gotten points at almost every event I've gone to this year, um, I, I I really want more points. So yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna we're gonna get some games in today. I'm leaving for Portland tonight. I'm recording this like pretty early in the morning. Uh, so yeah. All right, let's see what we can do. We're, we're just we're just doing this. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and uh, yeah. Common question of the day: uh, What are you running for the global challenge? And it looks like we're facing uh, Palo Balance with Roaring Moon. Um, I think my best bet is just gonna be to lead off with the squad. Uh, in the back here, I get actually like a ton of value out of my uh, Choice Scarf, Great Tusk, and I think my last Mon. I also get a ton of value out of this dude. I think that's fine. Um, is it? Let me think. So, um, I could go with Dragonite, and like that's also somewhat consistent into this. But I think, you know, also I could just go with Fluttermane here. Let's go with Fluttermane. I'm going to go with Fluttermane because even though I'm less consistent into other things, I think I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to believe that I'm fine. My favorite part about all this is that there is a global challenge bingo card. And... Every time I, I play one of these, I'm always just like, I'm checking off someone's bingo card. Someone someone here has like, because the bingo card says like, oh, you play against a streamer, right? I'm 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 doing I'm someone's bingo card is being checked by me. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and go for the sleep powder onto you. And I should also be able to overheat into this Amoongus. If they want a Terra, that isn't the best, but I do have speed investment on this Torkoal. Alternatively, I can sleep powder and overheat into the Amoongus. And that might not be the worst play because that call that also calls out the uh, the Terra option. Um, but this guy's 15-15 rating. For all I know, he just started though. Let's just yeah, let's just go with like the play that I was originally gonna make. Sleep powder, overheat this Amoongus. I'm getting a lot of like Windows notifications. Yeah. And in the sun, this should one shot any like non-focus Ash Amoongus. And getting rid of that's like my biggest obstacle. Nice. As we eject pack out of here. Sick. So, this is actually a really fast Torkoal. I'm not gonna say what nature it is, but it rhymes with Schmimid. It rhymes with Schmimid nature. <laughs> Alright, there's the Arc. So Arc and I are typically safety goggles. And I might get burned. But I think regardless, I have to attempt a Sleep Powder. Since I will outspeed these guys, I can always just go for the um, Headlong Rush into this thing. Just to secure a KO, because Earthquake doesn't seem worth it. And I want to make sure I KO. Yeah, safety goggles. Ooh, that doesn't quite do it. That could be kind of bad. Hopefully this stays asleep. No, they woke up. I'm going to get Dazzling Gleam. And probably Flare Blitzed. Okay, so this basically comes down to... Who's... Um, oh, they go for the will -O Actually, that's huge for me. That's huge for me. Because I always get in you now.
I don't know whose is faster. I'd imagine theirs is probably faster, so I get a lot of value out of Tailwind. But also, if they're choice specs, I can just Encore here and Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam, and that's, like, not the worst, because I am also choice specs, but they don't have as many switch-ins to this. Yeah, all right. And Encoring that Arcanine into Will-O-Wisp should be able to secure me a win, I think. Because I really doubt they would want to go for anything other than that. They might Extreme Speed, for all I know, but... Nope, okay, cool. They're stuck Will-O-Wisping, and if I am faster than this um, Fluttermane, that's definitely a win. I'm not faster, that's fine. I eat the hit well enough. I also have a ton of spit F. It also does so much. Oh, well, that's a crit. Okay. <laughs> Two E burns. All right, burn into the jump fluff. Not the best because I do end up losing a Mon this turn, but it's fine. Because I do have overheat and... Well, my Torquo has helping hand and overheat. So, like, this turn I could helping hand, and since the last turn was a crit and we did over 50%, uh, that means that the helping hand of Dazzling Gleam will do the same amount. Tinglu, ooh. Ooh, that might be a little bit of an issue. But I'm also a super fast Torkoal. I think I still just helping hand. And then next turn I should outspeed that Tinglu and be able to overheat it. Because they're stuck going for Will-O-Wisp. They're going to have to Will-O-Wisp into this um, Flutterman. So the damage is worth it. I really hope this still just KOs. Are they going to be Terra Poison? Terra Grass? Okay. Uh, that's actually huge for me because the Overheat will definitely KO. Please KO the Arcanine. All right, nice. We got the KO and the Arcanine. That's what I was really, really concerned about there. Probably going to lose my Flutter. Go for the Heavy Slam. And I still have full health in my Torkoal, so I think two Overheats should pick it up. As long as the Sun stays up for one more turn. Please don't go away. Okay, cool. Sun's still up. It's probably Assault Vest. I just need to connect this Overheat. Well, two Overheats, because I can probably take one ground move. But I think this is the most important overheat, because I think this is the last turn of Sun. Alright, cool. Second one should do it as long as I don't drop. Come on. Alright, nice. This should just barely pick up the KO, because I'm at minus two and the Sun's gone. Don't miss. Yes, okay, that should do it. Alright, a pretty close call for game one. Um... But I think that went well enough. Getting that Encore definitely saved me. Also, I feel like I should warn anyone who hasn't watched my previous global challenges. Because these are a little bit more serious than like, you know, laddering sessions or showdown lives. Um, I, I'm a little bit more serious as well. And that causes me to get a little bit more annoyed when things go wrong, obviously. I think that's to be expected though. You know, just keep that in mind. But yeah, it's going to suck having to play so many games and also going to Portland. Okay. Um, looks like I get a ton of value out of this. Yeah, this lead's going to be huge. As long as it's like booster bundle and not um, focus sash, like that's a huge lead for me. In the back here, I actually probably get the most value out of, once again, Fluttermane, because of Tailwind and stuff. And I think my last Mon... My last Mon, I'm somewhat tempted to go with the... Do I still want you? It's probably still fine. Yeah, let's do the same thing. Yeah, 
this is a notably fast Torkoal that I'm running. <laughs> Do you want to know how fast it is? Um, it's so fast that if they, that if they're, um, if they're, what's it called? Great Tusk is Jolly Max Speed and not Choice Scarf. If this Tailwind goes up, they're losing their Tusk. <laughs> that's, that's what it does. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is uh. This is the turn. Actually, I mean, I could also just Terra flying here. Please be booster. Okay. So I think they want a rock slide. My leaf storm is a guaranteed one shot though. I want to swap out Torkoal. I can hard swap Torkoal for my Tusk. And that's not bad. And I think I do Terra here. Just to make sure I take minimal damage. You know what? Let's overheat. Let's overheat. If they go for that... If they go for, like, the Earthquake, it's like, whatever. I don't really need Torkoal to win, and the free switch is, is nice regardless. Yeah, I'm going to burn my Terra here, so I don't take as much from Rock Sled. Because Leaf Storm should one-shot basically every Iron Bundle. And then next turn I can Tailwind. Are they gonna Terra as well? Who will it be? Please be the Tusk. Okay, cool. They're Terra Ground. All right, that's awesome. I'm gonna lose my Torkoal, but like I said, like it's mostly about getting rid of this this bundle. And I think Puff should just barely be able to take. Uh, I don't think they would... E they shouldn't Earthquake here. They should be going for Headlong Rush into the coal. Yeah. That kind of sucks, because... Um, I don't know. Had I called the uh, the Rock Slide correctly there, then I would have been like in a way better position. Because that would have meant that um, my Torkoal could Terra Flying there, which was the, the other thing I was strongly considering. Like, Terra Flying would have been awesome. And I think here, I actually just go into my Tusk. And I go for the Sleep Powder into theirs and KO their Flutter. Yeah, there's their Flutter. So that's why I'm going into Tusk here. Because if I go into Flutter, I have no idea how fast theirs is. Please be Special Attack. It's Speed. Okay, I have to Sleep you this turn, but that's fine. Sleep Powder you. And... Jump Bluff can eat one hit, right? Probably not, actually. Ooh, do I have to Tailwind here? I think I have to Tailwind. Yeah, I'll Tailwind, because that still secures a KO. And I'll go for Headlong Rush into them. Because I'm Scarf, I should outspeed with Tailwind up. Nice. There's the CC. I'm gonna lose my puff, but we should be fine. We have Tailwind up and we have Specs and Headlong Rush. <laughs> They've Headlong Rush twice in a row. Um, that doesn't indicate Choice Band or Choice Scarf, I mean, but um, it also doesn't deconfirm it. All right, there's the arc. So, unfortunately for me, I have to make a bit of a call here, and I think I have to double the, um... Actually, let me think. I don't really lose anything for going for Specs Dazzling Gleam. And Headlong Rush into the arc. The Specs Dazzling Gleam versus this. If it is Choice Scarf, should KO. But I'm also not really willing to make that call out. You know what? I'm going to assume it's Choice Scarf. Let's just do it. We're just going to assume it's Choice Scarf, because I don't think it really matters if it isn't. Like, if they go for Earthquake here, yeah, I can lose if they're like Sash, but I think we'll be fine. 
This is single target specs in the sun at minus two. Oh, they were sash. Don't, don't earthquake. Ha don't have earthquake. Okay, cool. They headline rush. They win. <laughs> I was going to say like, yeah, I mean like if they're, if they're sash, they could win, but I'm pretty sure they're scarf. Yeah, I'm choice scarf. So I outspeed my headlong rush goes first. I win. Unless they want to disconnect or if I want to disconnect. Okay, sweet. Do one more. Continue battling here. Okay. So, this can be a little bit of an annoying lead. Because, you know, Scarf is an option on the Chi Yu. But more is also not that great if it's safety goggles. I mean, like, you might be saying, what do you mean safety goggles? I faced safety goggles, Glamora. <laughs> it is not fun. Let's go with um, hyper offense here. I don't think I need to think too hard about this one. I didn't even see what my ranking was before that. I think I was like 15, 20 something. Okay, Glamora Chi Yu. So, I mean, I think I should always be able to do this. I want to go for the Sleep Powder onto the Chi Yu. Or something else I can do is just accept that Torkoal goes down here. No, I should sleep. You know what? I have like a sneaking suspicion this Chi Yu is going to be Terra Grass and that's not going to be like at all worth it. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to Protect. And I'm just going to Tailwind. I'm going to sack the Jump Bluff early, which might seem like a weird play, but I, I just have a sneaking suspicion they're going to Terra Grass. Yeah, okay, cool. Glad I did that. So I'm hoping they heat wave here and I just lose my, my jump fluff to be honest. Cool. Is they're gonna earth power? Alright. So I can get in Tusk here and threaten a close combat. Um, or I can just get in Chen Pao and go for the Earth Power play. I think that's my play. So if I if I Earth Power here, I should always outspeed Gamora unless it's like a super 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 fast Gamora. I'm gonna Earth Power here and Ice Spinner. They're gonna protect. Wait, it was air balloon? Did I just miss the air balloon entirely? 
Am I an idiot? I didn't see the air balloon. <laughs> okay, that's not great. So if that's the case, this turn I'm going to double the Glamora, because I don't think they uh, let me take the Chiyu from them. Hopefully they don't spike your shield. They're probably gonna spike your shield. But I, I don't really have another play, because I don't think they let me take Chiyu either. Yeah, it was Air Balloon. I completely missed that message. All right, Torkoal lives. I'm gonna get this Earth Power off. It should KO. Um, and I have to rely on the power of Terra Flying, Helping Hand, Torkoal, plus Choice Scarf, Grey Tusk. Yeah, it's kind of a rough game. Okay, so obviously there's potential for me to get jet punched here, right? We all see it. We all see I can get jet punched. All of us acknowledge that. Here's here's how I win. <laughs> I actually do have the helping hand and hope that lets me live like a jet punch. And I go for the earthquake. Actually, is there anything immune to earthquake in the back? No. I'm in the sun and I'm a Torkoal. Can I take a baby Palafin jet punch if I Terra Flying? I hope so. And I also hope I just crit the ever-living life out of this um, Chiyu. Because that gives me a shot. Alright, world's greatest crit incoming. Nope, okay, that's game. Can I can you dodge? Can I oh I did crit it. Can I dodge? Terra Blast. Okay, well yeah, I'm not dodging that. You know, the irony of this is that I completely called the Terra Grass turn one with no indication that it existed and then proceeded to um, lose because I didn't read the thing that the game outright told me. <laughs> that's so funny, actually. All right, that's going to be it for the first uh, session of these battles. I'm going to go ahead and record the second session right away. Uh, because I have to catch a plane tonight. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and I will bring you more frustrating madness from the uh, from the GC this weekend. Have a nice one. Goodbye. <laughs>